I absolutely love the way my microphone sounds and you guys should too. Obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a microphone and trust me, you don't need a hundred dollar microphones. Those are, yeah, those are way too expensive. My microphone is a Fifine USB microphone found on Amazon for about $55. And not only does it come with a spectacular microphone, it comes with two pop filters, a shock mount and an arm stand, which is essentially your entire audio setup in one purchase. Straight up out of the box, this is what the microphone sounds like. It took me about five minutes to set up, and in my opinion, it sounds really good for just being right out of the box. The background removal is fairly good. I will go type on my keyboard right now. And here, this is me clicking my mouse. I would 100% recommend this microphone to any gamer, streamer, content creator that needs a full mic setup and especially if you don't want to spend a lot of extra money, which no one does. Now, I know the vast majority of my viewers on this YouTube channel are content creators and you want to make sure that your voice sounds as best as possible. And with a good mic like this one, this is 100% achievable. In order to do this, I will be showing you guys how to add your mic to your streaming and recording platform, such as OBS or Streamlabs OBS, as well as some settings that make it sound as best as possible, which will be unique to your own voice. If you like the quality of my mic, you can go ahead and check out the link in my description because you can purchase the exact same one and get the exact same audio quality as me. I'm assuming many of you guys are content creators or streamers or something like that using OBS or Streamlabs OBS and in order to add your mic all you need to do is go to the plus sign under your sources, go to audio input capture, create new and you can name it whatever you want and then go from device default and then go down to microphone whichever one you want to use. Mine is the K780A from Fifine. Click that and press OK. Now that you have your mic down here, you can go right click it and go to filters. I currently have four filters on my microphone to make it sound as best as possible and I'll be teaching you guys how to do them too. So the first one that I have is a compressor. This makes sure that when I stream, if I go really loud, it doesn't hurt your ears. Noise gate turns off my microphone when I'm being quiet so it can't hear my keyboard or anything else in the background. And then the equalizer and the compressor too changes the way my voice sounds just a little bit to make sure I'm getting the best quality out of my mic as possible. One quick thing to note is that adding filters to a bad mic won't solve any problems, so make sure that you've got a mic that's up and running and working well before adding filters to it. And like I said before, if you need a suggestion, the microphone that I'm using is a Fifine K780A microphone, and I personally think it's a great microphone that works extremely well. Like I said before, the link is in the description. Now I'm going to show you how to add these filters. First I'm going to remove mine. And then I'm going to have to up the volume a little bit because these filters do mess with the volume slightly. Now in order to add a compressor, go to the plus sign, add a compressor, and name it whatever you want. The default settings here are pretty good, although I'd recommend having this go down to 3. It generally compresses the mic just a little bit too much when it's at 10. And I would recommend not messing with any of this. This just uh, tells it when to start compressing, when to stop compressing, and this is how loud your microphone is. Don't mess with this because this, I don't even know what it does, but it's nothing important. <laughs> and um, the threshold may be something you have to mess with a little bit. If you get really loud and it doesn't like compress your sound at all, I would recommend lowering this a little bit. Next, you're gonna wanna add a noise gate. Go to the plus sign and add a noise gate. Name it noise gate. Press OK. The default settings for me work pretty good, but if you can still hear your keyboard while you're making a video, you might want to have this close threshold be a little bit higher. And then if you are talking and in the middle of your senses, uh, it starts chopping out your mic, you're going to want to make sure that this close threshold is lowered. The open threshold is when it tells your mic to turn back on. Um, I would recommend leaving this normal. Normally, most people talk within a normal range of decibels where this works. But if not, you can uh, mess around with the setting as you need. The attack hold time and release time is like the millisecond delay it takes to start having uh, the noise gate applied. I would not recommend messing with that unless you really need to, but it basically just changes the amount of time before your microphone turns off or turns back on. The next two filters will have to be downloaded by going to Google. Go to the second link in my description and download Replugs VST 64-bit.
And this uh, plugin here will essentially allow you to fine tune your voice through your microphone and sound as best as possible because everyone's voice is unique. And this way you can change it to make sure it's best for you. Now you can go to the plus sign, go to uh, VST to plugin, press OK, and then select your plugin, which will be refer standalone. Press open plugin interface. And this is what should pop up. If not, go to this mode, make it EQ, points should be smooth, and change the FFT size to 4096. Next, what you're going to, want to do is you can boost the bass of your voice just a tiny bit. I normally go to this next line. Then you can boost the treble of your voice just a tiny bit as well. You can fine tune these settings to fit your voice, like I said, but these are what settings will work for me, but you should change them to work for you. The last thing we just added was called an equalizer, and now we're gonna go add a VST two times plugin, and we're gonna actually just name it something else. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the ReX Comp Standalone, open plugin interface, and what this will do is we can go click on the one, change the gain right here to two, and then go to the four, click on the four, and change it to two. But leave the three and the two the same. What this will do is we'll make the bass in our voice and the treble in our voice slightly louder than the rest so you get a nice crisp quality uh, voice. And closer to that, and then these are the exact settings that I use while I stream and record. Big thanks to FiFine Technology for sending me this awesome K7080 microphone. It is uh, honestly awesome. I'm gonna be using this while I stream and uh, make more YouTube videos in the future. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, do all that stuff, comment if you have any questions, I'll answer them uh, within 24 hours. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.